So this is not clickbait. I'm kind of killing the whole meme of the channel here. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. I'm gonna vlog today because I think I'm doing something big. You guys may or may not know by the thumbnail or the title. I really don't know where today is going to go. Other than that though, there's nothing that interesting going on. Ashley's here. Hello. Hello. How was skiing for the first time? I'm sore. You should send me that video so I can put it in the video and show people how well you did. We do have to fill orders though, so do you want to help me with that? 33 new orders, three people with comments. You can put like extra stickers in and stuff because we're running out. This is how the whole process works if you guys haven't seen it. I click buttons over here and it prints stuff out over here. And then she hands me all the stuff out of the closet, the merch closet. As you can see, we're getting very low. So this week will actually be the last week to get anything that you see here, including the shirts and hoodies, which I do not sell, but you can find all that information on the site. I really do appreciate the support of everyone buying all of this stuff and supporting the channel. It definitely helps me out, but at the same time selling this stuff, it takes away from me actually making videos. So there's gonna be a hiatus from the whole merch thing. I'm not exactly sure when I will bring some stuff back, but if you ask me, I'm not gonna reply because it's not going to be anytime soon. All right, orders are filled. Shout out to Tyler Humphrey from Connecticut, Stefan Lowther from Connecticut as well, Anthony Stoop, Stu how do you say that? Stupic? Anthony Stupic. Sounds about right. From Florida. And Scott Orange from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Owen Breeden from Washington. And Brandon Gonzalez from Columbus, Ohio. Thank you guys for the support. And I'm going to the post office in a little bit to send this stuff out to you guys. Now, before we do that, we should probably get coffee. Because I'm kind of tired. I still have to bring you guys an updated EDC video, but here you go. Olight, still the same. Original Trayvax wallet, carried that before. Sabenza, you may have seen this in the Blade HQ video. If you haven't watched that, you should definitely go watch it. And the Trayvax link, which no one can get, but I have the inside scoop on and I'll let you guys know sometime soon. As far as what's in my waistband goes, you don't get to see that yet. President's Day. Oh no! It's President's Day. It sure is. Damn it. Well, your packages are not going out today. Sorry, everyone. Whoops. I can check my PO box though. Nothing. I'm gonna close this soon. So much for that. Huh? So I normally don't drink coffee, but ever since I was in Washington, that's all anyone does out there. So now I'm drinking coffee and Ashley wanted to get another glass, not a glass, so we got him to go. So another cup <laughs> of iced coffee and I'm in a mood now. Ashley loves Cabela's. Loves Cabela's. Loves it. Do you actually love Cabela's or? No. Okay. <laughs> but we're going up here to pick something up. I'm basically building something super expensive because everyone always complains in my videos when I 
undercover expensive guns. Oh my god, that's so expensive. I would never spend that much on a gun. I would rather spend a thousand dollars on ammo and get training. I get that, yeah, training's important. But when I post a 30 minute video, and it's good information about like whatever it is I'm covering and people still bitch about it, I'm making a fuck you rifle right now. It's already, it's been underway for a while, but it's just gonna be outrageously expensive with like all of the completely over the top unnecessary stuff, just for the haters. Man, that spilled coffee really did put you in a mood. I'm in a, I'm in a mood. This coffee spilled because there's cheap lids on this and now, gonna go flex at Cabela's. Their stuff's super fucking overpriced yes. anyway. Yes! Mama, I made it. I'm in a mood. We're gonna drop like five grand on an optic for a rifle that I'm gonna shoot once and then put it in my safe. Weird flex, but okay. Weird flex, but okay. That's what you get, that's what you get. When I put out good content and you bitch about it, I'm flexing on you fuckers. All over spilled coffee, guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's go spend a f load of money. Let's do it. Now you're really gonna be in a mood. I know. So the coffee rage continues. Of course we come up to Cabela's and we stand there forever until someone comes over and says anything to us. And they don't even have what I want. Need something more expensive than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going from one coffee rage activity to the next. Look at all the stuff in here. This back here, though, is what we really need. <laughs> These wheels are not the lightest wheels ever. See that? <laughs> STI wheels. Anyone want to buy a razor? Let me know if you want to buy that. Are you just selling everything? Selling everything. Huh. Getting rid of everything. But for real, if you want to buy that razor, let me know. Last one? Last one. There's only four wheels on a car. Nuh-uh. Learn something new every day. All right. Do you see where this is going? Uh, yeah, I'm never letting you drink coffee again. What are those? S some nice rags. <laughs> All right guys, I'm down here at my cousin's shop, BN Imports. You may have seen us do the cross trek lift down here. What else did we do down here? I think that was it. This is my cousin, Nick. Howdy. So, this is not clickbait. I'm kind of killing the whole meme of the channel here. This is actually happening and it will need more of an explanation, so I'll get into it maybe in this video, maybe a little bit later. But for now, Nick's gonna show us what he has in the shop because there's some cool stuff here. What you got? Some really massively wide wheels. <laughs> Look at these things. Holy. That's a young bill. You look a little stoned in that. <laughs> I was really tired. You <laughs> really tired. Less stoned in real life. Oh, this is your drift car. Ooh. Yeah. You have videos of this on YouTube, don't you? Yeah, there's some out there. I think okay. I've seen them. A supercharged wide body S2000. That was built by us and some other people along the way. This thing is pretty dope. This might be for sale sometime in the future. And so, it might be turbo soon too. So this might be for sale. Yes. And what else is coming tuner car wise? In the corner we have two two Golf R's. Two Golf R's, Mark there's an STI three. right here. Yep, STI and then 135 M Sport, Focus ST and another R32 over there too. So a bunch of cool stuff. Some cool stuff, lots of blue. And now my STI. I am selling it, this is not a joke. I'm leaving it here and I'm going on a trip next week so maybe it'll be sold by the time I get back. But I'll explain why I'm doing this and my whole thought process behind it. If anyone is local and is like seriously interested in buying a 2015 STI Limited, I will leave links and everything in the description down below if you wanna check it out. I'm not selling it personally, I'm leaving it up to these guys here so you will be talking with them if you are interested but I guarantee there's gonna be a lot of tire kickers. <laughs> because that's just how it goes on the internet. This is a 2JZ yeah, Benz. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, this, uh, I built this like a while ago when I was at Speed yeah, Warehouse. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You oh <laughs> my God. When you're also... How fun is that to drive? It's actually it's pretty terrifying actually. <laughs> it, it's on bags too and... It's so low. It's a 75, so it's like 
really just drives horrible. That is sweet. In like a dangerous way. Yeah. In a dangerous way, it's fun. I forgot we have some RS4s hiding back here. We have my personal RS4. Buy Nick's RS4. No, nope, not for sale. Not for sale? <laughs> no. What about that one? That one's for sale. Supercharged, Avis Silver. Buy that one. 90K miles, not $90,000. <laughs> um, JHN Supercharged, Stage 2. Pretty awesome car. Buy it. Buy it. BN Import Stock Buy it now. Buy now. <laughs> Goodbye. Toodles. Hopefully someone buys it. Buy this. Buy this. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Give it a hug. Goodbye. Goodbye, STI. I love you. <laughs> Do I? I don't know. All right, guys, we are done heading down towards Philly now. She's got to go home. How much are you going to miss me? So much. So much. I got to explain. I don't even have to explain why I'm selling the STI. I'm doing it to kill the meme. That's why. No. <laughs> I don't really need to justify why I'm selling it, but I'm sure you guys are going to be super curious. And basically the reason behind it is because when I bought the car, it was great. It was my dream car and it was great for the life that I was living at the time. I was just working basically like nine to five corporate job. I would drive from my apartment into work and then back and then on the weekends I had a fun car to drive around and everything. Since then, my life has changed drastically because of YouTube and I'm constantly up in the mountains now and I'm going on these super long road trips. I bought this car to sort of supplement that. This gets way better gas mileage. I can drive it up in the mountains and I don't have to worry about messing it up. This is like a, I don't want to call it a beater car, yeah. but it's yeah. it just fits my life way more than the STI did. So I didn't want to sell the STI for obvious reasons. Held on to it for this whole time now. I've had it for almost five years. Now it's at the point where I'm just paying insurance on it. I'm traveling around. I barely drive this. I drive this when I'm home, obviously. And then very rarely do I even drive the STI anymore. So that's basically the reason why I'm selling it. As of now, it's just kind of sitting there and costing me a lot of money for insurance because I'm still relatively young and having vehicles like that does get super expensive. So as of right now, there's really nothing taking its place. I just want to kind of get rid of a lot of things. You guys know that I tend to be more on the minimalist side, or at least I try to be. More than me. More than most people. <laughs> Everyone thinks stuff in things, the title of these vlogs. Everyone thinks that means materialistic things, and that's not it at all. If you watch the origin of stuff and things it was all about like the experiences and all the stuff and things that I do with friends <laughs> yes I do a lot of product reviews and I love showing you guys things that I'm interested in but I'll explain more about that later that's kind of besides the point I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff and that car was a big one now I will narrow it down to just my car and my motorcycle makes things way simpler and costs a lot less money. Eventually, there may be something taking its place once I kind of figure out which route I want to go and things like that. I do have some big plans, but you guys know that I don't like talking about plans unless I'm already executing on them or have already executed on them. Things are gonna continue on the channel now as normal. It's not like you guys even saw the STI very much anyway. Going forward though, things will eventually change, but like I said, I'm not gonna hype anything up or talk about anything until we get there. So spring and summer are gonna be a lot of fun. And like you guys know, there's gonna be some big things coming this year. 2019 is already shaping up to be pretty rad. So I think that's it. Anything you wanna add? No. channel consider clicking subscribe make new videos every week that's all for today thank you for watching 